Hello team, we're gonna talk about the Romanian deadlift and the good morning exercise right now. And we're gonna kind of compare and contrast those things here today. So the, the, they're basically the same motion. The RDL, I'm holding a weight in my hands and it stays down like a normal deadlift. Whereas the good morning kind of looks like a, a really uh, <laughs> disleveraged squat let's let's put it that way so the bar is on your back like this and i bend over i make the same position but the the leverage obviously is not nearly as favorable for me so with the deadlift i can kind of keep the bar scooped in a little bit more and that takes some pressure off of my hips and back you're going to be able to do a lot more weight with an rdl than with a um, uh, good morning, which is on your shoulders and really far away from those hip joints and from those, um, you know, every back joint that you have. So what do we notice? So, you know, anecdotally for me, I'm, I'm, I'm really flexible. I have a lot of hamstring flexibility. So getting in those positions is never that difficult. It's finding the stability in those positions that's always difficult. And with the RDL, for whatever reason, maybe it's just the uh, shortening of the lat, I feel like I get a lot better hip drive there. It's easier for me to practice this movement with my arms down because there's just a little bit less going on. It's a little more forgiving if I make any you know, subtle mistakes, it's easier to correct them. Big thing is for, for both of them, I can kind of get that hamstring stretch on the way down, but then when I come back up, it's really easy to lose it on the, uh, on the good morning because it's, you have this weight pushing you down and it encourages you to lean back with it. And so this goes back to our discussion on position versus motion and bringing the hips and all sorts of other deadlifting cues that we might be using. We want to think about pushing our feet in the ground, not lifting the bar up. Okay, and that goes doubly for the good morning. It's just a lot harder to control here. And so I would try good mornings. I would keep the weight really, really low for now. If you're not feeling it in your legs exclusively, then I don't know, stop doing it. Try to fix it. Try to get a coach to fix it. Uh, but that one, like there's, there's a big risk for a pretty narrow reward. So I'm not usually giving that variation to a lot of people. Uh, it's, it's, it would be cool to try and you know, I might have a handful of people who could safely do it, but for the most part, especially if you're just, you know, looking to be fitter, it, it's, <laughs> I'm not going to say it doesn't fit into your program, but there's a big learning curve. It's like the Olympic lifts, right? Those would be really cool if everyone was doing them, but who has the patience to learn how to do them correctly? <laughs> uh, so that's just a little comparison on the uh, Romanian deadlift when you're holding the weight and the uh, uh, barbell good morning when the weight is on your shoulders. It's the same motion, but the leverage is a lot different and it therefore encourages different feelings, different sensations, and the good morning tends to be more difficult to do safely.